Hello and welcome to a quick introduction of the Eclarius Excel integration. The Excel integration is a small add-in that you can download from the Eclarius modeler in either 64-bit or 32-bit version and it will take then one minute to install, which gives you a new ribbon with all the Eclarius functionality. Initially, the users sign on with their Microsoft account, which gives them access rights to the data. So you can have the same report, but the what the users will see is depending on their user rights. In this case here, I'm consolidating multiple zero entities. So I can see here the zero company AU, zero company US, but I could add as many accounting companies as I like, also from other accounting systems. So we could add uh, Microsoft Dynamics, QuickBooks, ABC Financials, and other accounting systems all into the same model for easy consolidation. So if I want to look, for example, at the Australian company, I just select it and Excel will show me now the updated report for Australia. Equally, I can filter now on all the other filters and depending on my user rights, I might have more or less data here available to me. We can also change the structure of the report and that is done using a pivot table. So reports very easily defined in the carries using a pivot table. I've got the accounts here going down. I've got the years, respectively the, the combination of year and month going across and then the filters at the top. If you want to change this, we just drag and drop the particular item of all the Actaris data model items that are available, just drag them into the report. And now here I get now a proper PNL with all the items. Um, what I can do now, I can use all the pivot tail functionality. So for example, I could do here a right click and say I want to collapse this entire field just to start on the top level. So now I have all the top level accounts and if I want to, I can go down into further detail where I want to look at further detail. So this is the reporting side of things, but let's look now at the planning side of things. So what we see here now are the actuals for 2018 for the third quarter. Let's say we want to do our planning now for the next period, and this is 2019-20. So we select this um, financial year here, and we want to do now the planning. So we switch to the budget scenario. Again, in the carries, you can have as many scenarios as you like. I have defined these three. You can easily add more in the modeler as required. So you can see here now also the background color has changed. So this means you can enter data here now in the model. What would be nice now is to get a bit of an idea what happened in the previous year. And the only thing you have to do here now is to add a calculation, which is the previous year actual. So I just take this into my report. And now for the planning, I can see the actuals from the previous year compared to the new planning period. So we, so we see here now our planning form. And a good starting point would be to take all the actuals from last year and use them as the basis for our new year. And this is very simple in the carriers. We just go to copy values. Now we select our source where we say we want to copy all the data for all companies from the 18-19 financial year. And here we don't want budget, we want the actuals and we want to copy them into 1920 again for all companies into the budget scenario. So we, we click a button now and as you can see it just took two seconds and we have now all the data from the previous year available as our budget for the current period. So here we go, we can see now all the data from the previous year and now we can start our plan. So let's say for this year we have also other revenues um, for $12,000 and we want to increase our sales from last year and we can either not type in the number or use a relative change. So if we use here I 10% for increase 10%, we see now this was increased by 10%. Let's see now what the result is. So if we are finished with our budgets, we can commit the changes which has written the two changes back into the database and we will see immediately the results of this change. So now data gets written back into the data source and we see based on these 
revenues, we will have a profit of $9,400 in the July of 2019. So we're doing here the third quarter planning. So we see now we have in this period a profit now of $9,400. Maybe let's turn on the subtotals so that we see a little bit the subtotals at the same time. Let's show them at the top of the group where we already have the total here. So that we can see what are our total revenues. And we see so at the moment we have $28,000 revenue. But now our manager says 28,000 is not enough. We will be able to achieve $30,000. And we can now do this here. And this is our top-down write-back. So I can write-back either on a detail level or at the top. So if we go back to the Actarius model, commit this change back to the database, we will immediately see that the difference here of the previous value to the new, to the new value is automatically written down into the detail and we see our new total. So Actarius allows you the bottom up data entry on a detail level, but then also the total. And we can take this further. We can say, okay, we have now uh, a total revenue of 56,000 in this year. Again, our boss thinks um, our target should be 65,000. So we change our target again, um, commit this change again to the database and see now what our profit situation is. So it is now recalculating this and we have now a profit of $5,564. And we're happy with this. And so you see an extremely effective way of planning directly integrated in Excel with all the Excel fle flexibility. So if you want to have a, a chart now uh, here, that is of course possible. If you want to do your own calculations here, for example, what's the, the profit margin? We can use all the functionality that is available in Excel. Obviously with all the formatting that you know from Excel, nothing new to learn here, but the data is automatically available in the one version of the truest data models. So you don't have to worry anymore about maintaining if there's a new account, this will be automatically added. You can access this data now with Power BI or any other solution that can access the relational data model that Actarius uses. And everyone will get the same data. So finally, let's have a look what the consolidated result is. Again, just a click of a button. We want to see now here the entire group so of all our group companies. We will see what the budget results are. And again, just with a click, I can immediately see the results of the entire group, which will at the moment mean a profit of $49,000. I hope you have enjoyed this little demonstration. For any further questions, please feel free to contact us on these details.